Welcome back, everybody, to my playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. We are back here in, uh, ooh. Oh, there we go. Hello, ladies. How are you doing? Where are you from? You look Indian? Are you from India somewhere? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cheers to you, too. What are you eating? Oh, look at that. It looks like some kind of gumbo or something. It's all like mixed stuff. It's like a big old thing of corn or is that bread or something? I don't know what that is. Uh, anyways, welcome back. Hey there. Oh, she's hmm, giving me that look. Oh, I'm making her uncomfortable. Just gonna snag a few of these and eat them if that's okay. Oh, yeah, sweet rolls. Mm, let me stuff my fat face. But if you're joining me today, thanks so much for joining me. We are here in the three broomsticks. Four broomsticks. I forget how many broomsticks there I'll are. I'll say it again. I won't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Oh, no problem. I'm just going to stuff my face around here with some food. It looks like there might be a chest upstairs that we missed. Rebellion. Oh, and we missed a thingamajiggy too. Where? It may be behind a locked door. We do have the ability now to unlock new levels of locks. I'm hearing that dinging thing pretty loudly. See if I can find it. Seeing it, whoa, easy. I feel like it's still up. Uh, surely I've gone to the top of this before. Ooh, lock level one. Alohomora. Alohomora. But if you're joining me, thanks so much. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really goes a long way to help the channel. Maybe leave a comment, you know? Let me know how amazing it all is. What do we have here? Revelio. What do we have here? God, what in the world? A dust? <gasps> a demi guys. Flint. Three broomsticks, private room. The Three Broomsticks private room is a secluded uh, space off the main room of the pub. Hogwarts professors appreciate having a separate area in which to gather to avoid encountering students. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the students appreciate their professors having a separate area as well. So this is just for professors. What do we got here? Cool. I could have uh, opened this long ago, but I just, I guess I never, that's interesting, Duraclaw statue, I don't know if I, you know, whatchamacallit, maybe I went up there and I still didn't know, you know, maybe it was a, a long while back, and I just didn't know the lock, unlock level right now, one, Demi guys. oh, did make this, yoink, Ooh, can I eat these? No. Okie dokie. Well, that was fun. Now, what are we doing? Well, good question. I don't know. Let me see. Quests. I think Owen's assignment? This. A tin beast class. He's man behind the moons. Oh. That's right. I need to return to Deke. And I did purchase the breeding thingamajiggy. Uh, yeah, there's that one. Maybe we'll do that. And then when we're back at school, we'll attend beast class. Is there anything else here that I need to do while I'm in town, though? I don't Rebellion. think so. We got some... Are all those locks? Now, since I know lock level 2, you know, there was another place here in the city where I knew there was like a demi guys. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of locks I can unlock now. And it is nighttime, so it's kind of like, hey, why not, right? Sneak around. 
I mean, we're here. We might as well. What do we have in here? Rebellion. Going. 63 chicken nuggets. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Going. Unidentified outfit item. Okay. And this one? Lock level 2. Alohomora. This whole place is filled with locks. Okay. Ta da. We have in here. Rebellion. We have. I can't believe no one's home. Oh, did my guys? Another one. Whimsical nightcap. I didn't comment on that, did my guys? I didn't even see it there at first. And what do we have here? 50 chicken nuggets. Looks like uh, people are out and about. Don't mind me, I'm just pilfering. I think I saw something. Rebellion. Yes. Yoink. Tartan Sunrise Scarf. Well, that was fun. What else we got? Okay. And lock level two. Alohomora. Easy peasy. Yoink. Rebellio. Rebellio. This has got some nice houses and stuff, you know? Like, they're kind of small, but they're nice. It'd be easy to fall off if you're not careful. Need a little railing there or something. Maybe I should leave them a note. You know, a suggestion. Like, hey, I just robbed your house. Um, I used my magical power to unlock your door and I just stole from you. But I wanted to tell you that you have a really nice house, but you may want to put a railing on the upper, you know, staircase because I almost Rebellion. fell. Okay, it looks like we have another lock over this way. Oh, come on. I can get past this. Oh, come on. Alright, we'll go Here we go. Ooh, lock level three. Okay. Well, we won't be getting inside there. Let's see what else we got. We have a chest here. Have I seriously never opened that? Never mind now. Time to die. Rebellion. Oh, another one over here. It's like a big one. Yeah? Just a lock. Is. Alohomora. Alohomora. Getting a lot of gear and stuff. So that's good. Come on. There we go. You know what I need? I need like a staff. Oh, hey there. You know? Rebellion. Like I need a staff. That everything in here. Like, I know I have wands. But I feel like a big staff would, would be better. Is there such a thing as staffs? Whenever I complete the Merlin trials, it looks like Merlin has a staff. I mean, if a wand can focus magical energy, then maybe a staff could too. You know? Hi, what are you doing? What is this? You don't mind if I just break in and look at this. Well, that's interesting. Are you... Uh, going... Are these instruments... 
So you what repair instruments? Is that what you're doing right now? You're trying to fix that one? This is an instrument shop. Look at this. Oh, I like that. Cast it. She's bewitched the harp. Is that her? It looks like her. And tells me we're gonna end up coming back here. It's a very unique kind of place, isn't it? Look at this. Well, yeah. Man, very beautiful. Don't mind if I just... Mmm, yes. Hot tea. Thank you so much. You don't mind if I steal one of these, too? Mmm, yeah. Oh, that's so good. Well, thanks. Sorry I broke in. Revelio. Loots and loots. I'm not seeing any other... Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Nope. Can't do that one. How about... I think this was the level 3 one, yeah? Yeah. Now, there was an alleyway we were going down back here that had a lot of logs. But I guess maybe... I got kind of turned around. Now, this one drives me crazy. I have no idea where it is. Somewhere close. No. Revelio. Uh... Yoink. Oh, wait. Yoink. The lock up there. If I can get to it. Level two. Alohomora. Now, if I recall correctly trying to remember where that demi guys rebellion it was another one where it was i think i think i can make my way back to it Be here mm, 54 chicken nuggets all right the exit now, let me see. Let me get my bearings. Where am I? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, actually, this is right around where I want to be. If this is where I think it is. Wasn't it around one of these houses? Right here? That I mentioned it? Lock level 3. Rebellion. Because I was heading outside of town. And I believe it was one of these houses right on the edge. Hello, Hamora. Not far from, I believe, Mr. Pippin's Potion Shop isn't too far. Yes, let me see. Rebellion. We're going to cease this after a while. A few more houses we're going to... Oh, there it is right there. Yep, there it is. That's another Demi, guys. Nice. All right. I think we're set then. Um, yeah, Mr. Pippin's Potions is right here, I think. Yeah, I knew it was right next to that somewhere close. Uh, let's return to the school. And... See. Let's go to the Room of Requirement. Speak to Deke. And finish this thingamajiggy. Alright, here we are. Uh, let me uncover the items I've found first. There's actually a few things that are better than what I've got. Two pairs of gloves, actually. Let's check that out. Let's see... Okay, so offense increases by 9, but defense goes down. That's not horrible. In fact, these are the only ones that might be worth it. Black Rivet Gloves. Uh, it needs to be upgraded. 
but it can be upgraded. I think. No upgrades applied. And I've got this one. Let's look and see. Uh, real quick. And I can upgrade it to where the defense does go up. So I won't lose off anything, actually. And I can upgrade it a second time to where the... It looks like the defense goes way up. Or is it offense that's going up now? No, I think it's defense, right? But then it looks like maybe offense will go up too. And to do it again, I need a fupa feather. Uh, can I store those stupid animals in there now? Because if so, I can get a fupa feather. And as far as traits go... Ooh, this is the one it's attached to it. These are only level one. They're not super great. I could do level twos. I could also do level three. No level... I can't do any of these. These are so much left. Okay, so let's do level three. I believe... What do I have on the one I've got right now? Significantly increased ancient magic meter. We could just do that one. Significantly increased damage with Crucio. Uh, we have a lot to where the ancient magic meter increases. Let's do this one. And then we'll equip it. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's way better. Up by 9 and up by 12. Oh yeah. Okay. Um... Let's see what's going on with Deke. Alright. You have proven yourself useful. That is the only reason you're being allowed to remain alive. Uh, I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Said. Now... To breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. Oh! Swamp. Well, hot damn. Deep never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please oh. let Deke know once you've bred them. I was not expecting a third room to open up. That is so cool, though. Like, really, I'm impressed. Check this out, man. And... Here we go through here. Got a little area in here. And the second place is right here. So I did have them in here where the beach shore is. So if we have a swamp that's opened up, I think this is where all the chickens are going to like to stay. The hippocryphs. This doesn't look like the best place for the nasals, but I think the frogs will go good in the swamp too. So we're gonna take back the Thestrals. Settle inventory. yourself. I mean, you know how. I have four of them, and I have two frogs. Let's take them too, and we'll leave the Nezels here for now. I feel like the Nezels, like maybe all the birds in this one, and then the land animals, like the Nezels, in the other one. Uh, but it does look like I can actually. Let's put out some of these birds while we're here. We have two Derricals. Let's put out those. We have two... F uh, well, we have a lot of Fupas. Um, let's do... This is a boy and a girl. 
And we have the Irondale Pil Pilfer. We could put him in the other place. This is like a unique one. Oopa. So we'll have three of those. We only have two Darrow calls. Let's see, that Fupa is a boy, right? And this one's a girl? This one's a boy. So we'll have two boys and two girls. I ended up moving a few things around. Not much. There you go. How was that? Good? Hope you enjoyed it. You ain't getting any more for a while. You. There you go. And what I did end up doing... Now I can collect from these, which is great. Because their ingredients... Are you hungry too? Because their ingredients are like super valuable. You know what I mean? And I've been kind of lacking. Do you want food too? Here. There you go, giant chicken. Alright. Let me go ahead and collect from you while you're here. Hippogriff feather. And there you go. Hope you appreciate how kind I've been. So, I moved a few things over here. Check it out. I just moved this. Like, I set up a tent... I set up this archway, and then I set the feeding trough stuff over here. Damn, that one was hungry as hell. Like, move the hell out of my way. <laughs> but that's all I did in this area. So now that we have the Thestrals, and we've collected some stuff, let's get out of here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on screen feeding the animals and, and collecting from them, because... It's cool, but it's a little tedious to watch, you know, you know, you know. Alright, let's check out this swamp. This is gonna be cool. Man, this is, like, freaking awesome. I had no idea so much stuff was gonna open up in here. Whoa, ho, ho, check this out, man. This is cool. Oh, man. Listen to the music. Oh, man, it's like... And Ooh, what is this? Like the head of a dragon. The the music man, it's like super Um I don't even know the to, how to describe the word, you know? Like beautiful. Now listen to it for a second. Man, I really like this uh, this track. Oh, spider web? Can we collect spiders? Send you. I don't think we can, can we? But there's a spider web there. Lumos. Just looking around. I really like this swamp, man. Like, I'm digging this. Lumos. I'm digging the music. Medium raised floor corner. Nice. Oh man, I'm digging this place. Huh. I make it up over there. Oh, the water running off. Oh, it's such a nice touch. Oh, thick muck. I bet I can make it up there. Oh. 
see. Uh, maybe, well, yeah, maybe. Oh man, this one's big. That's what she said. Uh, okay. Check this out. My gosh, this has to be my favorite room yet. This is so cool, man. Like, really. I can't believe how impressed with this place I am. Look at that. The wonders of magic, I tell you, man. And so, it looks like I don't think I can get out there in that open space. Maybe I can. It kind of gives me a good bird's eye view. All of this... Maybe I'll put the pin right out there. Uh, it's it's kind of easy to get turned around in here. Can I? Oh, can oh you know what? No, I can't fly in here. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Nice. I'm gonna have to put some landmarks to be sure. Otherwise, I'm gonna get turned around. I think that fence right there is gonna prevent me from going out further into the swamp. I won't be able to go out that way. I, I doubt it. This is a nice kind of bird's eye view, though. Yeah, I'm going to spend some serious time off screen at some point really decorating these rooms. Especially now that we've got a third one. Okay, let me just double check. I seriously doubt... Yeah, here's the fence. We're not going to be able to get past this. Right. No. That. No. All right. Let's go back to that open area that we were at. And where this bog is, those frogs will probably like. I think this is the entrance, isn't it? Yeah, that's the entrance. Okay, so... I guess just for now... Hmm... Maybe off here to the left? I think the frogs would like it right there. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see... <laughs> I got some new architecture stuff. That's cool. Gonna have to mess around with that stuff. No, it would be this one, isn't it? Breeding pin. Good size. I can't make it any bigger or smaller. Um... Really? I can't set it... Really? Okay. Come on now. In the world? Okay. So that's the entrance over there. We want it to kind of be facing the entrance. Somewhat, sort of, kind of. And uh, there was a spot right over here where I could put it. Can I really not? But didn't I see one open up? Come on now. I guess some of the water is is keeping it from being able to do it. Okay. Shoot. There's an entrance there. Come on, you can't tell me I can't set it right here. What's the deal? Is it is it really that? Like, what's the deal? Come on. Selected space is currently occupied. 
This one's a tricky one. How can I can't can't set it just right out here in the middle? Is there is this not a good spot because there's just a lot of water? Is there another spot where there's more solid ground? No. Let me see. No, I don't think so. This doink. Uh, we went kind of explored around. We can't go. Like, like what's... Oh, can I not go back there? Blocked off, okay. We did go through another area, though. Man, you would think I'd be able to just plop it right out here in the middle. And then we kind of went through here. And then up around here. I don't think there's like a cave in here, but there's nowhere open where I'm going to be able to put it. That's the only space right out there in the middle. Like, I don't get it. Oh, now all of a sudden it's fine. Okay, so we need to turn it around. So. It's not gonna go anywhere other than that. Can we move it... To the left? No. It looks like this is gonna be it. Oh, let's turn it again. This is a tricky one, man. It's not working. Come on. I need you to work for me now. There we go. Okay, it's facing the wrong way. That's the way we want it to face. And that's as far back as it's gonna go. Okay. Alright. So we have laid out the thing. So we come out, the breeding pin's right here. It's kind of blocking off the route in that direction. I don't really like it there, to be honest with you. I kind of want it over here. Because there's nothing but trees behind that. All right, we're going to try this one more time. Just because I'm really picky. Just because I'm very picky. And I like this beat. There. Oh, nope, nope. There we go. That's better there. That looks good there. And there's nothing else kind of over here. Yeah, okay, I like that. Okay, so now we need to summon the Thestrals. Oh, shh. I didn't mean that <laughs> wrong one all right and you um we do have the frogs too we'll just do the thestrals right now at the moment so we do need a, a we do need a, a feeding pin but let's do this with these thestrals first let's 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 Turn up the candlelight and get the romantic music going, right? Here we go. You can breed offspring for any species where you have a male and female active in the vivarium. Oh, by the way, do I have... Oh, perfect. We have... Two boys and two girls. Well, I, d I d actually didn't plan that, I don't think, but okay. The Thistral is a haunting winged... Uh... A quine beast that is only visible to those who have seen death. Breed. Man, you guys got it on. Breed unique beast. So now what? Is that it? Is that the baby? Got pumpkins all around it. Now what? To breed more beasts. 
conjure another breeding pen or wait until this beast or wait until this beast has given birth oh okay so this is the chick that's been knocked up which one of you guys did it so there's only three of them now okay all right so that's how that works um see, let's go back to this no 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 we want this one Although, we do need a, a feeding pin in here. I think the feeding pin would probably go well just like somewhere right over here. And then maybe later I could move it. Just so that, you know, it's here and they got something to eat. I can conjure them. I can only conjure one of these though. I'll probably add some kind of architecture, you know, around. So that, you know, it looks a little bit nicer. Let's go ahead and put out the frogs in this one, too. Because I think the frogs would like it here. We have a girl, a boy, a boy, and a girl. So check that out. We have an equal pair of each one of those, too. I, oddly enough, I feel like the pupskins might like it in this area, too. All right, guys. Got them all over here. Get them to stuff their fat faces. And since they've already eaten, I can go ahead and collect from them real quick since I'm in here. There you go. Have you eaten? Okay. There you go. Alright, so we did it. So, use the breeding pin to breed the Thestrals. Didn't I just do that, though? Do we return to Deke? Well, I've already done it, though. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, I see. I didn't notice that. Reading time remaining. 27 minutes. So I need to wait until this uh, knocked up Thestral gives birth. Look at this. Well, I'm not going to waste my time here waiting on that now. Instead, we're going to go back through here. Were these statues always here? I don't remember that. This is the way back. Okay. All right. I, I like that place. That is cool, man. That is freaking cool. Uh, and what's, does this just go back down to the ground? Ooh, check it out. It, ah. Wait. Hold on. I'm a little turned around. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I get it now. That is nice. Yes, it is. Did I... I didn't get a new unidentified item. This will be I? more useful when I have something to identify. I think I can upgrade that next piece of gear, though. I think. Yes, I can. See? Poop of feathers. Yeah. I think I can upgrade a few other things, too. Nope. Nope. Phoenix feather. Oddly enough, I have a unicorn hair. I bought one. But I do not have that. I've got this. This will work. Yay. So, when can I acquire a phoenix, I wonder? I wonder. I am upgrading a lot of good stuff, though. Okay, cool. So, Deke, where are you? So, you don't have anything new to say. I'd like to ask, could you remind me what I'm to do with that? No, no, no. Hmm. We're all set. Alright. How am I looking on potions? Um. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm largely good. I'm not going to really spend hardly any time in here. Just gonna collect what I got. Nope. I have several things. I need to replace one of these with chomping cabbages, to be honest with you. Let's see, what do we have? Uh, mallow sweet. That's important. Flux weed. Not grass. Devil fig. Venomous tentacula. And. Dittany. 
I I really need two for the chomping cabbages because I run out of those. Uh, I have 62 Dittany leaves. Lux weed stem, I've got 84. I'm not even quite sure what I use those for. I'm pretty sure the Mallow Sweet is used for the Merlin Trials, isn't it? But the Flux Weed Stem, I don't think so. I can replant it if I need it, but let's replace this. Not grass, Flux Weed. We're going to replace this with Chomping Chabbage. Because I run out of these pretty quick. Fertilizer. There we go. I can put some fertilizer in this one too. Those are fairly helpful. What about mandrakes? Do I have mandrake? Venomous, Fluxweed, Malasweet, Mandrake. I don't have Mandrake in any of these, do I? In the ring, not grass. Yeah, let's do uh, Mandrake for this one. Fertilizer. Alright, pick up some more fertilizer. Thanks. We'll see what's in our random pots. Wiganwild and Maxima. I only need two more Wigan Wills, but we'll just screw those real quick. And then we'll go. Then we'll leave. And I guess it's in Beast Class. Yeah, let's do that. Goink. Because I believe 25 is uh, the max limit. Okay, so... Maybe we should go through the score, I'm thinking. I like to do that because it kind of helps me memorize where it's all at. Bombada. Oh, I've been waiting to learn this one. Attend Beast Class during the day. Oh, what? Wait. Okay, let's go. Do it. Alright. Who was it that mentioned this painting just recently? Yeah. Oh, it was the chick who was trying to tame the troll that we ended up killing. Alright, let's go to beast class. Out of the way, peasant. Okay. I need to keep an eye out for additional quests. Just in case I might run into any. I love this school, man. I love the way that it looks. The way that it feels. I like going through here like this. I didn't realize it was daytime again already. I must have spent a good chunk of time in there. Because I thought it was nighttime. Um. But yeah. Uh, is it... Wait. Oh, it's this way. Okay. Hey? If you put a foot wrong, it's just well. There's a. Apparently, there's a chest somewhere up there. Revelio. Ooh, and a dinging thing. I bet you there is a lock that I haven't unlocked yet. What do you want to bet? How would I get up there? Interesting. I'm intrigued. What is this? That looked like something I could interact with. Incendio. What's that? Accio. 
What is that? Repair room. Hmm. Looks like just tissue paper or something. Oh! It looks like I can throw it away. Did something happen? I just threw away the trash. Rebellion. Do I get a reward for being, you know, oh. nice and tidy and cleaning up? No. I think she's tired of finding well, I'm travel. not gonna bother doing that again. Ah, huh, beast class. Except it's during the winter time. Alright, let's do it. I still haven't gone to the lake house. I need to do that. What is that up there, by the way? I don't know if I've gone up there either. Okay. There's so much we don't know about beasts. So much time. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Ugh. Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the dung in this class. <laughs> yeah, I think you could say that about a lot of classes. <laughs> that was interesting. Okay. Yes, Professor. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. I am. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. No shit. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. He thinks. Uh, is this an appropriate spell for students? Of course, Professor. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Uh -huh. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Can that happen? Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, oh my God. the exploding charm is highly volatile. It's been a while since I've done this. All right, just, uh... Mm. Oh. Excuse me. Let's do it. That one's hard. Bombarda. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Okay. Ooh, I think I leveled up. Bombarda. Now there's only one sp Well... Eh. There's a few more spells. I haven't learned that. The Exploding Charm Bombada is a heavy damage spell that causes an explosive blast in a large area. Bombada. Oh, I... Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Now, how far is it? What's its range? Ooh, it's almost like lightning. It looks like that could go pretty far. Let's see. Yeah. You have it well in hand. That's a pretty good long range one. Now that we have a new spell, we have to get it to its max. Let's see here. Bombada. Oh, look at that. Bombarda causes an explosive blast with a massive area of effect. Look at that. Oh yeah. Well, that's upgraded. You better believe I'm going to upgrade that one. Okay. Bombarda. Oh, man, it's even better now. Oh, I'm digging it. 
Thank you, Professor. You have made it one step closer to uh, becoming the new Dark Lord. Textbook execution. What do you have to say? Bravo. Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? Why are you interested in magical beasts? Have I asked her that? I was wondering what inspired your interest in magical beasts. Are you considering some sort of profession in the field? No. I am not. Truthfully, I am not. But I am interested to know why you chose this path for yourself. I see. I suppose that seeking to understand the motivation for selecting one's path is a worthy pursuit. I believe that when choosing a path, particularly of a scholarly nature, one must take into account both one's enthusiasm for a particular subject, as well as how one may best serve the students to whom one is obligated to both inspire and teach. Of course, Professor. When did your path become clear? I recall it quite vividly. It was the summer between my sixth and seventh years. I read in the Prophet about a wizard who'd been selling Ockamy eggs and disappeared in the mountains near my home. I knew of the Ockamy, of course, from my studies, but they are native to lands east of here, such as India. I wondered if it was possible that an Ockamy could be so nearby. Hence, I went to find it. Okay. Well, two things. First of all, nobody uses the word one in sentences like that. I mean, it just kind of makes you sound a little pompous. When one does this, and when one does that, and one can expect to understand this and that. It just, come on, no one really talks like that. It, it just makes you sound, you know, it, you know, come on. What type of oh, beast second is thing is, it is a what is it? spectacular beast. A feathered, winged serpent-like creature that can grow or shrink to fit a particular space. Its eggs are made of pure silver, hence the desire to trade in them. Fascinating. That was the second thing I was going to bring up. What exactly is an alchemy? Finding an alchemy sounds challenging, and enslaving it to doing your will sounds even more challenging. Seems quite a challenge finding an alchemy in the mountains. It was. After a few days, during which my parents grew increasingly annoyed at my absence, I found what little remained of the wizard egg trader. He was near a tree hollow. And there, inside, was a nest with seven silver alchemy eggs. What did you do with them? Nothing. Beasts are to be valued for what they can provide for wizard kind. Protective clothing, potion ingredients, even one cause. Only poachers see the value in ending a beast's life for galleons. I left the eggs alone. I hid. And moments later, the beast flew right over my head. Breathtaking. She then seemed to all but disappear as she shrunk to fit into the hollow. That sounds incredible. Indeed. I knew in that moment that I needed to understand all that I could about beasts and ensure that wizard kind learn to benefit properly from them. Now, I trust that I have answered your question. You would do well to continue your study of beasts, regardless of your chosen path. Beasts and all that they provide will vastly improve your life and perhaps one day even save it. I shall remember that, Professor. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I didn't really ask for your life story, but yeah, thanks. Uh, Alright. If I find an Akami, <laughs> it's mine. You can kiss its freedom goodbye. Uh, let's see. Why I'm outside... Can I... Yes, I can. Where is the lake house? Or I forget again. I'm gonna check it out. Here's the courtyard. I think it's around this way. You know, like on the lake. But we have learned a new spell. Bombada. Where is it? I thought it was just right. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yes, we have not visited this place yet. 
Uh, what's the best way to get there? Maybe I should, uh, go there from the castle? You know, like, land on these stairs and just kind of see? And then just go down the stairs, you know, all properly, like. Ah, so this is how you would do it. Here's the courtyard. Everyone's out there. Snowball fights anyone? Hmm? Okay, so you would go this way. I am willing to bet I'm going to find some Dedalian keys. Because I'm only missing a few. I'd like to finish that off. And maybe a new... What is it called? Uh... Demi guys. Revelio. As well as some invisible papers. I have not gone to the lake house yet. Out of the way, loser. Got students coming out here. I mean, what is this place exactly? Is it just for boats? Out of the way, loser. Mm, look at this. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's a quest giver there. It looks like that's a student in need. Well, I'm going to actually end the episode there before we go inside of it. But when we come back, we're going to go inside. I guess it's called the lake house. I don't know. They got a proper name for it or something. And uh, we're going to explore it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please hit the like and subscribe if you did. And as always, have a great freaking day.